What's up guys, how's it going? In this video I'll be showing you how to make the most out of Google Maps. Now we all know how to use Google Maps, obviously. We've been using, if, you've, if you're a Google user, and so you're obviously very familiar with Maps, even if you're on Android <coughs> or any other platform, I'm pretty sure you use Google Maps a lot. So, in this video I actually want to show you some of the stuff that you won't know how about on a regular basis. So let's go ahead and launch Google Maps. <clears throat> okay, so first of all, make sure you have Google Access on, you have location access on if you want to make the full use of Google Maps. Obviously it does drain a little bit of your battery, but nonetheless it's pretty cool. <coughs> so right now I'm on airplane mode as you can see, and I'm connected to Wi-Fi. So it is going to pull up my location. All right, cool. So let's do a quick search. Let's say I am looking for a McDonald's. So I'll, you know, search for McDonald's. And obviously it will bring up the closest McDonald's to me. So let's go there. At C directions. Okay, so we're walking. And let's see, okay. So that's cool, isn't it? So right now I know how to go to McDonald's. It shows me the directions step by step and it also gives me a neat map view which I can rotate and whatever I want to do. Most people don't know that you can actually rotate the screen. You don't need to just go back and forth. If you put one finger on it just hold the edge or hold whatever you're doing and you can use the other finger to rotate. <coughs> so that's the sweet thing about Google Maps. Now the other sweeter thing I'm going to show you guys is you can go you can also make a certain part of the maps available offline. Let's say if you're going somewhere that you need to know the you know the directions of how to get there so you can just go ahead and make available on, offline. You can zoom out and choose however how much space you want. Now one thing Google has done which is not very good is that they haven't, if I search for a direction I can't really save that. What I can do is basically just save the map. Right now I know McDonald's was somewhere around here. So I can just go ahead and save this. It'll take a while. Well, hopefully not much. It's just 0.2 MB. So the place basically just gets saved. So anytime I'm offline, I can just pull that up and wherever I am, I can just open that and be like, okay. So I was here, let's say I'm on Gateway Boulevard, I would know where to go to get to McDonald's, which was right here. So that's a cool thing. Now what we'll do is, we'll just close maps for a sec. Yeah, let's close it. And let's turn Wi-Fi off. Let's just get rid of all the good stuff. Okay, so now apparently, because I did so, so we've lost signals. So we'll go ahead and turn map on. Well, obviously I can't know where I am because um, there's no data connection available. However, strangely, it is um, it is showing where I am. But apparently it's not supposed to show where I am. But basically it is at the moment. So, okay, cool. What we're going to do is, right now I can't make a search, right? Because, let's say I want to search again for McDonald's, but I can't because I'm offline. I have no signals, I have no reception. So I can quickly just go into show offline list. This was what I saved, okay. Now what if I didn't save this? There's another thing. It also has recent. Now it knows I searched for McDonald's recently. So if I pull that up, it will show me exactly where McDonald's was. Now, I personally didn't even know about this feature until I was using it to find a direction to a bank. And I was in the subway and I was like, oh crap, you know, I'm not getting any signals. What do I do now? But basically, I just went into offline list and in recent, it was sitting down right there. So I just pulled it up and there you go where I was, I knew where I had to go. So these are little things which tend to become huge things in the long run 
depends on the kind of situation you're in. It was like a lifesaver to me. So those of you who don't know this, when you search for things, I don't know. I, I don't. I'm not sure if this is from the beginning of time or something. But whatever you've searched for, Google act is actually saving that. Let's say I search for Kennedy Bowl as well. It's a bowling place here in Toronto. So it also has that. So if I was close by, I would have seen. If I was on a street, perhaps I would have known where the bowl, where the bowling center is. Uh, is it called a bowling center? <laughs> oh, oh, never mind. <laughs> well, yeah, guys, just a little neat thing. If you didn't know about this, do give the video a thumbs up. If it helped you out in any way, do leave a comment. And uh, if you subscribe, guys, it's going to help me a ton. You can't imagine how much it helps me. So do subscribe and do comment if you have any questions. If you like any, if you like to know anything, any feature I didn't talk about, do let me know. And uh, thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you in the next one.